Hi, it's Sue again. Um, I'm back with this journal. It's um, I've had so much fun making this and so many ideas. I just think I loved the whole um, digital range um, that I've used in here. So I'll just show you what I've used is um, Cottage Lane Volume 1. Hope you can see that okay. Sorry, my lighting's not the greatest. Um, and it is by Nectar's Creations on Etsy. So I'll just pop that there so you can take a screenshot of that if you wish. I will put the link below as well. So um, as you can see, it's all these beautiful apricots and patina colour and um, nice and vintage looking. So, so that's um, what I've used throughout the journal with a few little bits and pieces here and there. Um, I chose this fabric uh, just because I thought that it all went in with the, the colour scheme. Uh, and I've just put layered a little bit of lace and the word journal and then I've just placed some little a uh, little um, charm from this bulb pin so it's just a, a pearl charm that I've wrapped with some lace and just had that hanging from there and that's just a cameo um, I don't even know where I got that from to be quite honest so it's a five by seven I'm really loving this size and it's got a two inch spine which is huge for me I've sewn all the signatures in and the back is just like that and you'll see oh you don't want that on there um, you'll see all these markings that's all coffee stain I coffee stained the um, the fabric just to sort of take the starkness away a bit so and that says lots of little bits of fluff and thread and um, from it. So it's three signatures. She is quite the bulky one. I couldn't stop. I could have easily done two journals um, with this digital range. I've absolutely fallen in love with it. And I have actually got a little miniature one that I've that I'm working on as well at the moment. So once I get that done, I'll share that. So as you can see, it's quite bulky. Still lots of room for journaling, but I have actually decorated this one a little bit more than the last one that I put up. I've put all left all my threads, sewing threads on there. They can be cut off if you don't like that look, but I will be listing this in my Etsy store as well. So, okay, we'll get into it. I've just done a uh, eyelets front and back and just a satin seam binding closure with some seam binding that I've coffee dyed. So I'll get into it and I will show you through. Oh, sorry guys. I'm trying to get, work out the best way to, to film. I don't have the best lighting or the best setup. So I'm sorry about that. Okay. So on the inside, I've lined with a fabric that actually matches the one at the front. And I've just done a little collage here. Um, this here I've stained with um, Tim Holtz Distress Oxides. I wasn't going to get any of them. Um, so I just got, a, I think, four colours, uh, Vintage Photo being one of them. And I've just played around with them in this journal and spritzed them with water and taken it off. And I absolutely love it. I, I want all the colours now. So I've just made a pocket. And on the inside I've just got my my business card and just some little bits of um, ephemera this is actually Nectaria's range as well and I'm I'm sorry if I'm wrong but I think it may be a Paris range I'm not sure I've had it um, printed off for a little while but haven't used it but I just thought it matched in as well so all my tags are either inked up or backed with coffee dyed or tea dyed paper and sewn around so I've just added those in the front there this tag is actually out of the range so this is um one of the papers as well and what I've done here is as I said I've had so much fun creating with this range I just could have I kept waking up at night with ideas and what I could do. It's funny how certain ranges do that. Uh, so I would be getting up and writing them down or getting up and actually playing around with it. And so needless to say, the last week or so, I haven't had a lot of sleep. So I've made this little tag booklet. So I've tried to make it look like a little door and I've put a little um, handle on there with a brand. I've hinged it all with cheesecloth, inked cheesecloth, and it opens up 
like so. So you can put add photos or journaling and then you can do that there as well. So you can see there that I've hinged that with the cheesecloth. I love that. And then I've just secured that down so it just hooks down with this little tab here. So there's lots of, um, I've used three colors of seam binding. So it's that patina minty color, that beautiful apricotty color and that really nice soft vintage pink that I've added through throughout the journal. So on this side, I've just made, I've stenciled, I've done a lot of stenciling through as well, the same stencil as you can see. So I've just stenciled um, this little envelope um, and inside I've just popped a couple of journaling cards. This is actually out of the range. Uh, this one was, I think this is a Kaiser Craft range that I've just put a little bit of coffee dyed paper on the back there for journaling or add a photo. Here I've just done a ruffle um, out of the fabric from the front. This little disc here and with number 27 on it is actually from um, Nectaria's range there as well, Cottage Lane. Um, so I've just added that to a garment pin. And this is the actual mason jar out of the range as well. So I've just backed that with coffee dyed paper and I'm not sure whether the camera will actually show it up well enough, but I've actually embossed that with gold just to give it a little bit more of a, a 3D effect. That came up quite cute. So there's still lots of space for journaling, um, but as I said, I still have, I've uh, quite heavily decorated throughout here because I had so many ideas. So I've just added a little bit of Tim Holtz um, washi tape down the bottom there. I've just added um, another, I think this is Kaiser Craft as well. Another little journaling spot there. And this is actually, page actually folds out. This is um, playing with that Distress Oxide ink again. I just love it. And I've just um, put some torn paper there, made a little collage with some cheesecloth and, and a ruffle of the fabric from the inside covers. So you can journal on that as well. Some beautiful lace there. And I've put these tags in here and made little pockets. So that's the Distress Oxide there as well. And then a stencil. And this is just a tag out of the range. That's beautiful. So this little tag, this was um, on public domain. I can't remember exactly where I got it. So I've just printed that off. I think the, uh, the colors match the whole journal perfectly and just sewn around that as well. Some more of that gorgeous dainty lace. The papers I've just left, these in the middle of the, anything I've put in the middle of the signature, I've just love it. I mean, you can't, you can't add too much to them because it just, they speak on their own. So I've just hooked a little um, journaling spot there that I've inked up so and added a, a ruffle to. Lots of sewing. I've left all my threads again. They can be cut off if you don't like those. This is just a side tuck that I've actually done out of felt and then I've backed it with some cardstock so that it's, cardstock, sorry, so that it's a little bit more sturdy. And these little cards are out of the range as well. See, they're my colours, that's why I found um, this so easy to do and, and so many ideas. I just, I love these colours. This is the other side of that um, tag with the pocket. And look at that gorgeous little cottage there. So it's just another journaling spot. Some sewn seam binding. So this little pocket here, side pocket that I've made, I've actually stitched all that by hand um, and I'm not sure whether the camera is actually showing up real well but that little piece of fabric is like brickwork so my thought process there was that it was a little trail uh, a brick wall with a um, vine growing up there with some flowers so I've just made sewn all that and then I've backed it onto a heavyweight cardstock just for make it sturdy and this is um, from public domain as well that I've just printed off colours matched beautifully as well. 
So this is just clipped on the side. So this one is um, so tag and I've sewn some cheesecloth, I think it is. Yep, coffee dyed cheesecloth. So these tags are out of the range. And I've just secured it shut with a bow and made it into a little booklet. So you can see there that I've sewn that. And then on the inside, I've made a little booklet here for journaling as well. So you can add some secret journaling there and no one will know any different. And as I said, that just secures closed with a bow. I'll do it now because if I don't do it, I will forget about it. Not as neat as it was before. So that just clips on there. Some doily, some lined paper. Just look at that, isn't that just stunning? I could just look at that forever. It's beautiful. This is just a digital stamp that I've put on here. Just I thought it looked like a little cottage and then just sewn some beautiful lace up the top there. This is just a um, flip up, flip down space for hidden journaling. And I've just added a, a little metal piece there. And in the back is a pocket as well. And I've just included one of Nectaria's tags there. So this is just a, um, one of the envelopes. I've just sewn around all of that before I've glued it all together and I've sewn coffee dyed paper to that. You don't have to do that. I just wanted to give it a little bit of oomph and then it's just got this beautiful card on the inside. Can you tell I like seam binding? <laughs> so this is a, a little paper bag that I've also done in a tutorial. Um, I'll put the link below if you're interested in seeing how I put that together. I made a heap of tags as well, just using bits and pieces that you've got in your stash. So on the inside, I've just put this image. Not even sure where I got that from, sorry. And then at the back of the bag, I've made that a pocket as well. And that's actually got one of the, the cards in it tags in it. It's another one of these tag pockets with a little journaling spot. And this is a tag that I was inspired by um, a lady, I don't know her first name, I'm sorry, but it's Frosted Bramble. I think it is on Instagram so she made something similar um, so this is just my take on it so I just a trellis with a, a bit of vine going up and then I've just used the distress oxide again so you can add a photo or journal on the back of that as well so it was a lot of fun here's just a journaling card that I've made with one of the uh, images out of the, the kit. And added a little bit of cheesecloth and sewing there as well. And just a little bit of um, torn paper that I've stamped up with some script and made a little collage of cheesecloth and a, a little um, satin flower there that I've made as well. Love this lace. I've only got little bits of it. So it's all gone now. This is just another journaling spot. Um, I think this is from the Graphics Fairy. So just the same, the colours all matched in with the journal. And this is just another pocket that I've hand stitched, hand embroidered, a little garden. And I've done, tried to make these look like dandelions using cheesecloth. So 
You can have a look there. I don't know whether that's actually showing up really well. Hopefully it is. And I've just put some, I'm not sure, I think that may be Graphics Ferry as well, that tag. This was just from a public domain page. And this is a beautiful cottage image out of the range. I'm just sewing some lace on the top there. So a little bit of fun that I've had with a tag. Uh, I've just made, inked up some twill stamped romance on there, added some brads. This is the fabric from the front cover. So I've just made that into a little flap and made a little pocket there. To just put some hidden journaling. A little bit of fun. So beautiful. Just another digital stamp, our sweet cottage. this folds out so as I said even though it is a little heavily decorated um, there is still heaps of spaces for journaling so this is um, a frame out of the range as well so I've just made it into a little hidey hole I've just made it add another little knob there and it's a frame and I've just put one of Tim Holt's photos in there that I've actually backed onto another frame that was out of the range. So I've done that so that whoever um, purchases the journal, they can actually put the photo of their own family member in there if they wish, or pop in there whatever they like. So that just slides in there like that. And then that just closes. This was a stamp that didn't turn out very well, so I've actually gone around and done some pen work on that, so it stands out quite quite brightly. That's another beautiful tag out of the range. So that's just a top tuck, but this is actually an envelope that I've decorated um, just with some cheesecloth and another image, just a 3D uh, butterfly and just a, an envelope you can pop photos or hidden journaling um, where am i now over here i think so i've just got that secured there with a paper clip that's just another tag that i was playing around with this is actually a tuck here so this is a little pocket on the tag this is a tuck, so you can put a little little tag or journaling spot in there. And then I've just torn, roughly torn some coffee dye paper and inked it all up with the Distress Oxide to try and make it look like an old torn piece of paper. And so that can just go in there for some extra journaling space. Just sits in there. middle of the signature this is just um, a little pocket page that I've made so I've just folded it down I've added a ruffle of the uh, inside cover um, and one of Tim Holt's uh, number discs so this is 27 so if you remember on the front where have I put it um, in Nectaria's range it's got a disc with number 27 so I'm thinking that the cottage is number 27 whatever lane cottage lane and a little um, pearl there hanging on a pin so I've just put one of those little tags that I've done a tutorial on just popped that in that side and then just an old um, book page tag that I've done a collage on and I've just added that in there top tuck with a little bit of um, this is thread left over from that I've pulled from the cover that I've frayed so I've just used that and just popped a 3d butterfly there and this is a image from a Kaiser craft range and I've just put some paper on the back there coffee dye paper for some journaling some more of Tim Holtz washi tape that's another digital stamp and this was a bit of fun too. This is um, paper range from 
Kaiser Craft. So I've hinged with some cheesecloth. I'll just put a welcome, welcome sign there. So it looks like, oh, it's supposed to look like a cottage door. Hopefully it looks like that and done a little handle here. And this opens up, so there's hidden journaling space there. It's all just hinged with sewing. And I've just popped a couple of um, journaling spots in there as well. And that magnetizes just so that it doesn't um, pop up and get caught. So that just magnetizes down. That was a bit of fun. And here I've just done, this is a um, Kaiser Craft die as well. And it's like a brick wall. So I've just torn a um, bit of paper and backed it onto some cardstock, inked it up and made it look like a brick wall. And I've just popped a little bit of ephemera in there and just a little tablet. I've just sewn some coffee dyed papers in there for more journaling. Just popped those in there. And that's the back. And this is um, my book plates, beautiful book plates that um, Christine Parcell has actually designed for me. She's from Geek Girl designs and I've just popped that there and made a pocket as well and just made one of um, my worn wallpaper tags so that's that journal I have had so much fun making that um, absolutely love it and keen to use another range from Nectar Creations as well so that will be up in my Etsy store soon as soon as I can navigate my way around Etsy so um, if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please do do so I appreciate everyone that comes by and watches my videos um, I really enjoy making journals and doing paper craft and hopefully I can share some ideas here and there to inspire people to do the same so um, thanks for watching guys and hopefully it won't be as long between drinks so um we'll have a video another video up soon thanks guys see you soon bye bye